I'm going to try and show you how to get your textbook set up. There are a variety of options and I'd just like to show you them so that you have a better idea about what you might like to do. So over here on the left you see syllabus. That's where I am getting this information from. I'm going to scroll down and click on textbook and you see that I've updated this information and you see a few things here. First of all, if you purchased the wrong thing after watching this and you decided, hey, I purchased just launch put pad digital access and I really want a copy of that loose leaf book, then you would come here and you would click right here and that would send you to customer service and then you can return that. Now you have to make that return within 14 days of purchase. That's the only sticking point. That shouldn't be a problem because the class has only been released just not even for a week now. So you shouldn't have bought that prior to that time. So just make sure if you're going to do a return that you process that immediately. Um, so here are your options. Option one you see here and option two there are a couple choices. So option one means that you're getting Launchpad and you're not getting the loose leaf at all. You're not someone that wants the printed copy. Now having said that, the printed copy doesn't cost that much more when you get it as a package and I very, very strongly recommend it. The book is really technical. It has a lot of images, using a highlighter, being able to flip through the pages is really awesome. So don't underestimate the power of getting the printed copy of the book. If you don't want that, then you can log into Launchpad directly um, some of you already did that and then it will prompt you it'll you can do the 14 day free trial if you want and then it will prompt you to buy launchpad so that's one option you can just buy the launchpad by itself that's it now your other option is to have the launchpad and the loose leaf printed book so i recommend this option and you have a couple of ways in which you can get a hold of this what they call text package so it's a package because it's been put together the loose leaf printed book with the launchpad access for a better price if you were to buy launchpad by itself it's a set price if you were to buy the loose leaf by itself it's a set price and if you bought those separately and put them together the price would be more than it would be with the package so they give you a price cut for that so there are two choices here. The first choice is to buy it from the Ohlone College Bookstore. So this is fairly easy, I believe. It's a little more complex now that we can't go on campus to get books because of COVID. You have to order your book and then they have to, I believe, ship it to you. I don't believe you come by and pick it up or anything. Um, the bookstore would have that information. The cost is $133.50, um, which is a little bit more than the cost of the other option below. And you also have to account for that that doesn't include tax and that um, doesn't include any shipping charges. I don't know if the bookstore uh, charges for shipping or not, but that might be possible. So again, if you bought Launchpad access before and paid for it and you want this option, you do your return and you can go here to do the return. And then what you do is you go to this spot here and I can show you how it looks. It looks like this. Here's my login because I'm already logged in. But you would click on this side and you would click find a Launchpad course. And then you're going to put in the school name and what's really weird is that this thing is a little temperamental. If you actually put in my name, it doesn't seem to work. And then it comes up here with me. And you see this is me, Professor Cooper, Ohlone College, Introduction to Brain and Behavior. It doesn't include the ISBN or anything like that, so it can be a little confusing. And then you're going to click Join. And then it's going to go through and say, oh, I want you, you need to create an account with Macmillan and so on. So let me go back here. And um, so it tells you in the directions kind of what, what to do here. Now that step that I just went over is either you can get the 14 week free trial before you have your access code by using that little what I just did, or you can 
if you have the access code, you're going to be prompted to enter it in that process of registering and so on. That I didn't complete the whole process for you. And so it's the same thing. So if you go in and you register for Launchpad in our course, then you have you can sign up for the free trial. In the meantime, your book should show up. So your access code is packaged with the book. So you get the loose leaf in your hot little hands and then you get the access code as well. And at that point, if you have the free trial, it will then prompt you and say, hey, you've been in here for 14 days. We're not going to give you access unless you enter your access code. And then you will have that access code to enter. So that's from the bookstore sent to your house. You get it in your hot little hands and then you click here to get it registered in Launchpad if you haven't already uh, signed in the Launchpad with the free two-week trial. Now the other option is you can buy it from Macmillan Publishers directly and this is where they had given me really poor directions and I'm so sorry about that. You can buy, you can only buy Launchpad by itself through um, if you're logged into Launchpad, it only offers you that option instead of offering you all the textbook package options. So to get the textbook, you have to go to what's called their student store and not Launchpad because in Launchpad, it's going to offer you to buy just Launchpad and not the printed copy of the book. And so <laughs> don't don't ask me why. And there are lots of steps to this. It can be a little intimidating, but if you go through and just do every step, then you should be fine. Now, the benefit is it's a little less expensive. It's 118 um, and you, there's a code for free shipping in, in there. You'll see it. I'm assuming that the code won't change, but it's right there on the side. When you're clicking along, you'll see, oh, use this and you get free shipping. And that happens in step four, they said, on the website. And I did this with a student the other night, and or last night, and she said that it ended up costing $130, and that's with the tax on top of this 118 price. So here are the directions if you choose to do it. What I would do is I would look through these directions first so you're familiar with what to do, and then I would... I would just read this first, look at this first, and then um, go directly to the site. And so I'm not going to click on that because I have a picture of what it looks like here. So you haven't bought it yet and you want to buy this through the publisher. It's a little less expensive and that's what you've decided. So you click this here and where you come in is you should come in at what looks like this. Now if you don't and you just see a book that says launch this book and it says launch pad and it says like eighty dollars or something click that because it will open up into all of these different options so don't get confused and say well the book's not there just click that image and then you will come into this part here and what you'll see is here on the right side it says students buy or rent and some of this is very confusing because they actually in places don't put that it's a rental but it is <laughs> and so are totally confusing. So here they have it. You see ebook, launchpad, and loose leaf. Now, if you wanted to just buy launchpad here, you could. You could just buy it by itself here if you didn't use the previous um, directions earlier in this video. Um, but here you see there's a loose leaf, but notice that this doesn't have launchpad with it. It's very confusing. Make sure that you click here because you want a package on this side. Because in this class, you have to have Launchpad at least at a minimum. And if you want it, you can get the loose leaf. But you, everyone has to have access to Launchpad. So let me show you how this looks. Down here, you're going to click this one for package. And over here, here's packages. See, it's darkened here, which means that that's the one you're looking at. And now see under here, there's this thing that says loose leaf Launchpad. And here's the ISBN. Now this ISBN doesn't match the ISBN that I gave you up here with the bookstore option. And the reason for that is because the publisher, for some reason, when they made the package for us to sell to the bookstore, they added a little tiny pamphlet book. 
And when they did that, it became a different ISBN number. But kind of ironically, that package that the publisher made for our class to sell to the bookstore with the tiny little pamphlet that's not required for the class is not for sale on the website. And so you can't get that ISBN here. So what you'll do is you'll click this and you click buy loose leaf access to Launchpad. And then you get access to Launchpad for six months and you get the loose leaf in your hot little hands to keep. And you're going to click this button down here, find your course. And then we're going to do the same thing we did before where I showed you above where it asks you to search by the college's name to find our class the class that it's going to put your buying access to our class because I, I do things in there and then you can see it. Now the tricky thing is there again when you go in there and I've seen this happen twice now when I've been experimenting with this is start typing Ohlone and then a drop down will come open that says Ohlone Fremont Ohlone Newark. If you just type Ohlone College yourself it won't let you hit the submit button at the bottom. So you have to just start typing Ohlone. It'll come up Ohlone, Fremont, or Newark, and you can pick either one. I pick Fremont because that's where my office is. And then leave my name blank, don't put instructor name, and then spring 2021. And then it'll open up the class, and then you'll be in this process where you just follow the directions. So you search for the class, it says join class, then you're gonna go and it'll say make a Macmillan account, which also very confusingly is a different account your Macmillan publisher account is different I believe than your Launchpad access login account and so that gets confusing too but if you just go through the steps okay do I have a try to use the one maybe that you've created already if it doesn't work create a new account go through the steps and then ultimately you're gonna buy you're gonna put that in your cart and then you're gonna click buy. They're gonna ask for your address in that process. Be sure you put in the free shipping code in step four, like they mentioned on their website, so you get the free shipping. And then they're gonna ship that to you. Now, I don't know if, I think the code comes inside the package with the book. So when you open up your book, then there's a little package with a code. You open the code and then you're on the free 14 day trial, you signed up for that and now you're gonna use that code. But I actually don't know if they email it to you or how that works. Um, so maybe one of you could update me on that process. Okay, so uh, here's some additional information down here about the text, the two different ISBNs that seem to work if you want the actual physical book, um, loose leaf book, and so on. So please, take a look at the video and then if you're still confused or you're in the process and you're getting stuck something's not working i noticed a lot a lot of glitches so um, contact me i'm happy to set up a zoom call and do a screen share with you and try to help you through the process i'd like for everyone to have this done i had it uh, due on monday but i changed it to friday so i'd like to have everyone have this done by friday but please remember that if you bought something already and it's not the right thing you have to return it right away so that you're sure to get a refund for that. Okay, well, I hope you found that helpful.